Hey guys, it's me again, doing a baby update, and uh, maybe a little hint for some people who's having trouble with problem moms. This is Haley, as you all remember, she's the Clint Doe we got, and she had 10 this time around, and um, we wanted to try something a little different. As you can see, I put a drop nest box in. And because uh, I was told that maybe that might help her problem out, and boy, did it! It did absolutely wonderful. She had all the babies in the nest box, she pulled hair, she made a nest, and this was her third try. If she, if she messed it up this time, she was gone because um, we've already had two other litters that she just cleaned, had them on a wire, and then refused to take care of them. So we took all her babies out and gave them to an older doe that I knew would take care of them just in case uh, you know she didn't do good this try but we gave all the older does or most of the older does babies to her they were born the same night and she has taken care of all of them that little white one right there um, that's not hers we actually since she's doing so well we actually fostered one of the other babies over to her because uh, the other mom had ten and she only had six so she now has seven um, we just fostered that baby today, so hopefully it feeds and takes care of itself. But look at the size of these wrap, these babies. I mean, they are huge, and they're only not even two weeks old yet. And she has done absolutely perfect. So from now on, she'll be able to keep her own babies, take care of them, and we've got a good dough out of her. And there's that litter. I mean, got two other litters for do a baby update on. Sorry for moving you all around here is iris and these are her babies all these litters are only about a day apart so as you can see she's got she had three black you can see and she was bred to jack I don't know, she had some weird colors come out of that. But anyway, she had three blacks, three solid blacks. Look how big and chunky that one is. Three blacks, two solid reds, which are right there. And then she had a heavy broken, which is almost like a, uh, whoop, a you know, just a mimic of her. And then she had one Charlie, which is almost solid white. So that'll be put in a meat pen or something. And then three absolutely gorgeous, or two, I'm sorry, two, wait a minute. On, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, two beautiful brokens. Good color, good pattern. Uh, it's too early to know body or not, but. Um, hopefully these are both show quality and they are absolutely gorgeous and then the one heavy broken um, might be a heavy broken show quality we'll have to check out whenever they get a little older but anyway there's Iris's babies I'll put them back and got one more these are Haley's babies that we fostered over to mama which is an She's like a two-year-old meat doe. Always has huge litters. Always takes care of huge litters. So we gave her Haley's, uh, was it two, four, six, eight, nine? She has nine. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the babies that you've seen in Haley's nest earlier that I said just got fostered over there today, that was one of Mama's. So, um... For some reason it wasn't getting fed like the rest of them and she hasn't fed today that's why they look a little small but out of Haley's litter she had one two three Charlie's which is really unusual for her normally she has nothing but beautiful brokens but anyway she had three Charlie's one solid red and five absolutely gorgeous brokens that right there as long as their bodies the body types always equal out the way they have in the past. That is five beautiful show quality brokens. Patterns are perfect. They all have nice butterflies. 
Well, that one's got half a butterfly, but yeah, see, that's the way they normally look. Full butterflies, perfect saddles, nice. And here's one that looks like her mama. The real light, ah, it's a lighter broken pattern. So you breed it to a solid and you should get really nice patterns. I bred Haley to Jack, which is a broken, just to see how it turned out. And it turned out about 50-50. I had 50% 50, 50 real pretty brokens and 50% Charlies and solids. So it wasn't too bad. And I'll put the babies back. And then real quick, we'll go over the rest. Here is uh, the two babies that we kept back from Hannah. You've seen in past videos. It's uh, Alice and Bella. I know, don't laugh. My wife named them. But uh, they are two show quality does that we're keeping back. They're going to be shown in Sedalia in August. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Here's a new little buck I picked up. He's also going to be shown in August. Um, all of these are almost three months old. But there he is. He is I'm just absolutely perfect. And uh, we've got, go down here. This is my meat cage, but uh, I've had to overflow a little bit. Anyway, that's Rachel. This little spunky red right here um, is uh, Juliet or, or something like that. I forget. Sorry. But anyway, there's Snow, one of our other solid white New Zealand foster moms that we use. Um, she's pregnant. Rachel's pregnant. Um, <laughs> here's a whole pit. Eh, put a light on them. There's a whole pen of babies. And they are all going down to Oklahoma and uh, Texas. Or no, New Mexico. Oklahoma and New Mexico. So, and then <laughs> there is Hannah. She is very pregnant. As you can tell. She's my one of my perfect little does. She always does perfect, no matter what. Um, here's Sophie. She was bred. Look how big she's gotten. She's a first-time doe. She's a Clint doe. Um, so is Juliet over there. They're or not Clint. I'm sorry. Uh, Schmidt does. Solid red pedigrees all the way back. Uh, this is Sarah. She is going to be bred either today or tomorrow. I'm going to probably wait to do it in the morning. But she is a solid red all the way back. Beautiful. Um, there's Iris again. Come up here. <laughs> She's been playing in the water. There's Lucy. Uh, she just uh, weaned some of those in the grow up pen you've seen. Here's Jill. Uh, she just weaned some that's in the grow up pen. There's Haley again. Here is uh, Gabby. She just weaned a bunch. They're in the grow up pen. Here's four. Let me turn this light off here. There's uh, four reds right there. They're going to Oklahoma and uh, Texas. Well, New Mexico, but I'm meeting them in Texas. So there's those. And then again, here's these babies. I'll give you a better look at them. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've got a couple heavy brokens that was ordered. <laughs> if I can get them off here. The rest of these are just reds. And there's a show broken right there. She is going to a lucky lady in Oklahoma. And believe me, if I had it my way, she wouldn't be leaving because she is absolutely beautiful. And she's out of, she's out of uh, Haley's litters. So if that shows you anything, come around here. See if I can get her to move. There you go. If that shows you anything, that's what those her babies look like. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and then we got a dog pile of rabbits over there. But anyway... That's what's going on here. Those are the babies going. We've got four, four or five more litters due on the 11th. And
and uh, I'll do a baby update a couple days after that. So, y'all have a nice evening. Bye.